Waking up to a brand new day In between your sheets Breaking up in the best of ways And I'm back again on the street renovation vlog i don't know the last renovation vlog we did i don't even know what number we're on it's been ages hasn't it since we've done one and i keep saying this but it's like buses they're all coming at once okay it's early saturday morning and i've just come down for a second cup of tea i've already had one cup of tea put some makeup on because today we have a plaster coming finally So yeah, we've got a plasterer arriving today and I'm very excited. So all the rooms upstairs are going to get plastered. Not all of the rooms are obviously going to get done today. We're going to see how much he can get done. And I think he's coming today and tomorrow, so Saturday, Sunday. We'll see how much gets done. Not sure, no pressure. And then obviously he's going to come, hopefully, fingers crossed, every single weekend now until all of the upstairs plastering's been done so that's really excited so me and ash have like got our asses into gear and we've started talking about and throwing some really good ideas around on the bathroom so we haven't made a full decision of what it's going to be yet but we're halfway there so as soon as we come to a decision and order the new bathroom i'm going to sit down and it's probably going to be in this vlog and go through the plans with you for the bathroom so that's exciting ash has just nipped out to b and q because actually he's working on the bathroom today so upstairs in the bathroom he needs to rip out the old plaster off the walls the old tiles we don't know what's behind the tiles in there and you just got a lot of shit basically to rip out of the bathroom i'll hopefully show you that in there providing i don't get in the way so i'm just going to try and stay out of the way as usual me because there's nothing really much i can do apart from clean up so yeah i'm just gonna have and there's no point getting changed today everybody it is raining oh my god april showers are definitely a thing it's just been relentless hasn't it here in the north and yeah there's nowhere to go i'm on a spending ban so i can't go out and shop and i'm just gonna potter today around the house get on top of all of my cleaning all of my washing while the boys are working upstairs and keep them two fed and happy whilst they're working and obviously hopefully give you guys some updates as well i've been getting really bad headaches like really bad i'm not joking yet i've been waking up with a headache i'm going to bed with a headache headache pills just are not hitting the spot i'm trying to eliminate what's causing my headaches and obviously you go on google and you're dying like i said i don't read everything and take it as gospel i do my own research and what i think resonates with me i think as well you should tr always trust your intuition as a woman i don't think men have intuition do they have intuition anyway my intuition is mostly always correct so yeah it's a strong powerful feeling isn't it i wonder what your intuition is is that your higher self is that your spiritual self who knows things that you don't know oh let's not go down that rabbit hole <laughs> that is not a conversation we want to be having during this renovation vlog susie uh, like i said i am like this from oh my sleeve just did went in oh i've only just washed this gown as well and i've got a tea sleeve <laughs> like i said i'm like this from the minute i wake up and it's like ash always says is like they get to turn you off or you can actually pause me you can fast forward me you can literally leave the conversation i wouldn't even know about it <laughs> it's quite good isn't it it's quite genius really and he doesn't get to do that um but yeah i'm like this from the minute i wake up in the morning <laughs> What were we saying again? I know there's rarer blood types out there. I'm not going to go through each and every one, but I've got a rare one and it's uh, O negative. I'm O negative blood type. And apparently each blood type lacks 
um, different things. So there was an interesting report I read actually about people with all negative blood types and my blood type were less prone to diseases like cancer and COVID and um, all sorts of other diseases, uh, heart problems and just just diseases really in general i'm not i'm not saying that we're immune to everything but i think we've got a better immune system anyway we're not going to go into that i'm not a doctor etc or a scientist <laughs> i'm just trying to learn about myself and what my blood needs so my blood lacks zinc and oh what's the other one i can't remember the other one but it lacks zinc and iron or something like that so um it's important it said to eat for your blood type and i know that a lot of people don't know what the blood type is like ash doesn't know what his blood type is he's got similar traits to me because all negative blood type types have a certain characteristics traits personality traits believe it or not and i've read through these characteristic traits online from various different reports and research and uh, very much so i am um, Ash doesn't even know what blood type he is and I keep saying find out find out what blood type you are because I'm sure he's going to be the same as me he's very similar to me anyway you should eat for your blood type is what I'm trying to say and I like iron so I've been researching foods with iron and zinc excuse me in them in hopes that it might be able to get rid of these headaches or help me in general in just everyday life so that means lots of leafy greens spinach all the foods really that have zinc in them why am i even telling you this information oh yeah i've given up coffee because i'm thinking that that's probably what's causing my headaches it's to do with my blood type really isn't it what's your blood type coffee <laughs> oh also quickly before ash comes back we've actually ordered some new glass for the bathroom window and I'll show you more into detail. We've had to order a new new glass for the window in the bathroom because it's got a crack in it. So they do all these different designs and originally I thought of a fluted glass like this one but you can kind of still see through that one and obviously with it being a bathroom it needs to be where you can't see through it and the privacy level here is not great. Who remembers this one? <laughs> the swirly one. He said, do you want this one? I said, absolutely not. It reminds me of the 90s. I, somebody had that. I just remember it. Floriel, which is quite nice. This one, Mayflower, which I don't really like. This is Oak, which is quite nice as well, especially with being in the woods. So Ash said that one at first. And then there's this digital one. Don't like that. That's very futuristic does not suit this house at all chantilly which is quite nice the chantilly one's quite nice isn't it and that suits the house i think the style that i'm trying to create in this house that's quite nice that was an option as well autumn that's very similar to what's in there at the moment that we will be replacing which is quite nice and then cotswolds any guesses which one i went for you guessed it i went for this cotswolds one i just think it looks really nice it looks like rain we have to wait for that to be made and that's going to take a couple of weeks so it gives us a chance to finalize our bathroom details and it will probably be ready and delivered in time for the new bathroom to go in when the work starts on there we've also got these brochures delivered from victorian plumbing this little one here has some tiles in there and then this one I need to sit down and have a little look at shows just some options really, all the stuff that they do. And actually somebody commented and asked me, I don't know whether it was on Instagram or YouTube, but they asked me, do I think they should get the bathroom fittings from Victorian Plumbing and then get somebody to fit the bathroom and is it going to be cheaper? And yes. If you can do that, it is cheaper. That's what we do. That's exactly how we do it. And as you can see, most of our bathroom fittings come from Victorian Plumbing. They seem to have just everything in here. They even have the brands. So they've got like Burlington and Chatsworth. Is it called Chatsworth? That's a nice brand as well. I like their stuff. <laughs> Stop all the way while she takes the video off. Ashley, you know what it's like? I do. This is what happens if they can't be alone, take care of them in the bathroom. Yeah. Stripped it right back. Stripped right back. Got nails. I know. Let's pull them all out. 
Oh, wow. Timber's nice and thick, though. So it's got good framework. Yes. Well, it's got good bones, this house, hasn't it? Wow. Oh, I just can't believe it. I just can't believe how much shit comes out. <laughs> I thought there'll be a bit of dust off that plaster. <laughs> Look at the sink. <laughs> and the bathtub. That is crazy. See me draw the sticking out. Where's that? Oh yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh wow. I'm not okay anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna go and have a look at the plastering okay. work. Just turn that off so that. Oh, I see. The office ceiling is done. Okay, so the office ceiling, basically we've got three walls done, the ceiling, and two side walls, very nice work, very nice work indeed Mark, Mark our plasterer has been today, this is what we have done, which is great news. Oh, darling, I think that is all. I'm sure we haven't got these rooms done. No, just equipment. Just equipment in here. Yeah, and then more tables. And equipment. I can't remember what these are called. They're called trestles or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, nothing's been done in here either, so just just the office. Just the office. It's been a long day, hasn't it, Ralph? <laughs> stone by stone, hubby. Bit by bit. Stone by stone. You checking it out? That's what they, this is what they've been doing in here, Ralphie. Yeah, they've been working these boys, haven't they? Yeah, they've been working, haven't they? They have. I'm laughing at my socks and <laughs> sandals combo. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, welcome, yeah. What's your real opinion? Um, I don't know. Yes. Well, you won't need to bribe me to go for a walk and half a pint. Oh, yeah, it's quite lovely now. It's not yeah. dusty, huh? It's not dusty, Yeah. It's even nice to find it, it? Yep, yeah, I know. It is what it is. Mm. really groggy this morning again with another headache I'm just getting a lot of headaches at the moment and I don't know why is it the noise no because I was getting them before the work started again <laughs> I realized the weekend went by so fast and I did not vlog much um but in my defense it's really hard to when there's a lot going on. I don't want to get in the way of the plasterer. And obviously when it's upstairs, it's like, ooh, it's like tight squeeze, isn't it? And then obviously that bathroom is so small. <laughs> and I didn't want to get in Ash's way either. But I managed to obviously film some clips for you yesterday, didn't I? Yes. So there's that. And 
if I've got time today, I will go in the bathroom and give you another round up of what it looks like in there at the moment. But yeah, I am busy today filming um, a cider haul, which will have gone out on, when are you seeing this? Sunday night, you'll be seeing this, and the cider haul will have gone out on Tuesday night. So yeah, I'm busy today filming that video, but if I've got time later on, we'll go in the bathroom and I'll give you another like roundup of what it looks like in there. But I will anyway at some point. I just don't know if I'm coming or going. I'm not used to all this work going on in the house again. So I will get better with the renovation vlogs and there'll be one after the other now probably because there's so much going on. The weekend just went by like a flash, like it does anyway, doesn't it? It does anyway for anybody normal who's not going through a renovation, but when you're going through work and like you're busy with stuff like house build and stuff, it goes by like way too fast. But progress is progress. Oh, there was something else I wanted to tell you guys. Oh yeah, we ordered our radiators for upstairs in the house. And hopefully we've had notification that they're coming today as well. So I need to take delivery of radiators today and I'll run through the ones we've chosen. We've only got the ones for upstairs because just ready in preparation for these rooms to be done. Because obviously when these rooms are done, the flooring carpet can go down upstairs, radiators in and everything, and then we'll work our way back down the stairs. Then we'll concentrate on the radiators downstairs, skirting boards and flooring downstairs. That's the plan, initially, anyway. <laughs> Not sure if I'm making any sense, but <laughs> it is what it is, you guys. It's a better day today. We've got blue skies. It's very cloudy. Looks like it could turn at any point, but we're happy, okay? We're happy that's the main thing. Look at the state of this. Can you see that? Oh, my God, my finger can't even get through it. There's just a thick layer of dust on absolutely everything everything needs a really good clean actually now is the perfect time to show you inside the bathroom before we start work for the day on a different video so let's go in let me just pop the light on everybody so I'm not sure if that's made any difference whatsoever so after you saw it being smashed and ripped to pieces the other day this is now what we are looking like. So obviously we've kept in the bathroom itself, the toilet, which is hanging on by a thread. In fact, it wobbles. There's a thick layer of dust on everything like there usually is. We've still got the bath in situ as well. Obviously, when they put this corner bath in, it comes like way out into the doorway. Can you see that? Like it comes like into the doorway because it's just such an ill-fitted suite and yeah so we're still showering in here at the moment and i just wanted to give you guys a dose of reality this is what i'm talking about when i say sacrifices are made like not a lot of people can live like this you guys i literally stand here have a shower for two minutes and I just can't wait for the day that I can come out of the shower and feel clean, you know. We've got brushes being washed in this bathtub as well <laughs> down here. We've got this makeshift curtain, shower curtain here. The shower wobbles. In fact, the bath wobbles when you step inside of it as well. And yeah, that is the situation. We've actually knocked out the the floor ceiling which was brought down actually let me just hold you guys the floor ceiling was brought down to where the window is there at the top near enough where the window was so we've knocked through that do you remember them old gold tiles if i can find a picture i'll pop it on the screen and we've actually gotten to a point where hubby's done the ceiling in new plasterboards but we're back to brick i say brick we're back to plaster in here completely back to brick and as i was saying the window is in this autumn leaves print the reason why we're changing the window it's got a crack up here i think yeah and the frame as you can see is an old wooden frame so the windows were changed in this house we're thinking in the early 90s and they put in the upvc windows 
which were a common replacement for these old wooden frames because they eventually they rot it's not in bad condition this one actually but we wanted to change it because we, we, we wouldn't be happy with the wooden one being in there and having to do it at some point in the future so we thought whilst we've took everything back to brick we'll change the window the window's cracked anyway so we might as well just get it replaced so yeah we've gone for the redid the Cotswolds one that I showed you did I show you that you can see all the nails and you can see all the old plaster. So before they invented plaster boards, which are those up there, um, that plaster is plaster over and tile is tile over. It used to be this stuff, these little grids, wooden slats almost. And the plaster used to go over those. And you can see the old plaster there seeping through <laughs> it's amazing isn't it how they used to do things in the olden days that is the current situation oh that sunshine's coming through so it does actually come through the bathroom in the mornings around here when it is shining we are hit and miss with the weather today <laughs> you can't trust it at all like when can you ever but yeah uh, that's what we're currently looking like in here at the moment and guess what we found stuff inside the window or well near the window hubby said i said where did you find that he said inside the window i don't know what he means by that but some workman has obviously left a newspaper stuffed inside the build and it gives us an indication everybody look at the date saturday march the 18th 1989 we've got a sun newspaper I'm going to touch it for you guys, even though I do not want to, is the front cover. How My World Crashed Into Ruins by Mike Yarwood. I do not know who he is. I became a nervous wreck, haunted daily by a feeling of despair and self-doubt. Doctor dies in crash after working 33 hours. Yeah, welcome to 2024, where 40 plus hours a week is considered okay. And yeah, oh dear me, boobies. I do not want to get demonetized. 1989 was the last time the bathroom got touched. <laughs> so isn't that interesting? That is so interesting. Right, so I'm just going to go down and take some paracetamol. Try and get rid of this headache and then I'm going to have to film for the day. You know what I'm like, I have to have paracetamol in at all times and they only had these dissolvable ones. I could cry, everybody. I hate swallowing things in liquid form. It just makes me wretch. But that's how bad they are, I, like needs must. Bottoms up, everybody. Oh wow, Ralphie loves to sit behind his veils. We call the curtains his veils because he likes to sit behind them and look through them like a little bride. I've just taken delivery of our radiators. So we went for these radiators from Radiator Outlet and in here is all the pipes and stuff. I don't know the terminology. I'm so sorry, everybody. So we've gone for the two-column radiator and not in the white. We've gone for the antique brass. So all of these, this, 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 and this one. I don't know which room's for which, but we've gone for them under the windows because I think that's a really good look, isn't it? If you were to place radiators anywhere, you'd want them underneath the windows. I think anyway, especially in a house like this. So all these are basically for upstairs. So we've got all the radiators for upstairs. We still need to get the ones for down in here, obviously throughout the ground floor soon when the time is right. And I will hopefully show you what this one looks like. I'm saying this one, I don't know which one it is. They're all antique brass though, but the bedroom one can actually go in. So if hubby puts it in tonight, I will show it yeah, but I'm sure it'll be in at some point throughout this video, I'm hoping tonight, because I want to see what they look like as well. You know, like in real life, because all I've seen is on the pictures as well. Anyway, um, they came pretty fast, very quick delivery. 
and I'm sure hubby had a really good look round before he chose these vintage traditional radiators. It was really important that we had like traditional ones, obviously for this house. And I'm hoping once they're out the box that I'm really happy with them. We will see. We love a good unboxing, Ash. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, that's what it is. <clears throat> I thought he'd have all this food. Ooh la la! That'll be for the office, that one. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm glad you know which one's which. <laughs> it's it's more of a bronze, isn't it, than a brass? It is, yeah. It's antique brass. Yeah. Which means it's not not warm brass. Very nice. Uh, you like them? Yeah, I like them. It looked like a slate grey from that end, and now the light's shining on it, you can tell that it's brass. Mm. So you've got all these to match. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? So that'll fit on the end. Oh, yeah. The radiator valve. Let me see. That'll go to the bottom. Oh, wow, look at that. Isn't this good? And then they're on the sides of the radiators. The things you get excited about <laughs> when you're over at the edge of 30. They're really nice. Very nice. That sounds like a wonderful idea, doesn't it, Ralphie? Ralphina? Hi. Ralphie wants chicken, that's what he's waiting for. Ralphie said he doesn't give two shits about that room. Ralphie wants chicken, doesn't he? Come on, my love. Have you seen how fast he goes down them stairs? Did you hear that? You're a little cat lover, Daddy said. Right, so we are on Donnell. What do you think about that one? I quite like that one. Oh, I can't see it. Like, that's what it looks like without the lights on. That's what it looks like with the lights on. To be honest with you, I would probably not put that on. I prefer the lower lighting, you know, like floor lamps, wall lamps and things like that, bookcase lights. So it would look like that most of the time. That's quite simple, it's lovely. It's only 79 pounds. It's the Vogue Dewey three light semi flush light fitting. And they've got it down here, Prescott 40. That's a bit different. Prescott three light. That looks really similar. Although I think they're like navy shades. Um, yeah, that's nice as well, but um, like I said, we've got some similar. So let's see what these are here. We've got the Vogue Benice as well. That's in my bedroom. Oh, I love that one, Knightsbridge. Now I'm getting distracted, but how nice is that? How would nice would that be in? my 
dressing room. <gasps> Stop it, I think it'll be a bit too small for that room, but we're getting distracted. Uh -uh. Monday morning blues, I open my eyes and I'm greeted by a cute little smile. The world is new with you by my side. Everything is beautiful Tuesday afternoon. I'm calling you home. Just to hear your voice on the phone. Today we are going to Dunelm. And to be honest with you, I've chosen Dunelm because as you all know in the renovation, we've got so much to think about now and look at. I've got a guest bedroom to well, design really. Ash is not sleeping. You guys know what he's like. He's got so much on his to-do list that he can't even sleep because he just wants to get on with it. I say to him like, you're not a robot. You need to literally go to bed and recharge. Honestly, he is a nightmare. I've got an office to furnish and design and plan. What else is upstairs? Oh, the bathroom, obviously. The bathroom's all been ordered actually, which is really, really exciting. It's not here yet. And then I've got a guest bedroom and a dressing room. All these rooms are literally going to be done all at once. So lots to look forward to. Hence why I want to go to Dunelm today. I want to clock, because that's what I like to do. I like to clock what's in store, see, you know, what's what, see what the vibe is. And then we'll go to the range next, I think. And we'll do a few more places. And also JISC, because JISC is so underrated in my opinion i love that shop and then tk maxx and home sense we still haven't been to home sense this year at all so we're gonna have to make a special trip to home sense aren't we i just don't like going to home sense because it's my favorite shop ever and i just want to spend all of my money i suppose though hubby put me on the spending ban he put me on a personal spending ban because I did get a little bit out of control over Christmas, didn't I? It's just that Christmas is my vibe, you know, like it's Christmas for one. So gifting is like essential. And then it's birthdays. All our birthdays are in the winter. So I kind of get on this like momentum of like gifting myself for things it did get a little bit out of control and you know i was very dramatic when i said my husband put me on a spending ban but um he didn't really put me on a spending ban you know he just said calm it down a little bit you know <laughs> but i was like spending ban i'm not allowed to spend i'm not allowed to spend anything the spending ban did not include home decor and home renovations because that is what we're meant to be spending our money on really so looks like we're going on some shopping sprees for home decor starting with Dunelm today everybody <laughs> cannot wait for my dressing room I think I'm a worthy River Island stripy shirt probably sick of seeing me in this to be honest but I love it it's very spring isn't it and oh, I might wear my wide leg new jeans as well with this. Or is that too much blue? Well, we're just gonna go for it anyway because the sun is a shining. I follow the sun through the house all day, like in the mornings, it's here in the utility room. And this is actually where I start my day because I put all my washing on in the morning and you know, I'm obviously doing the housework, which is more or less based in this back room here in the utility, utility. It's just really nice. And obviously it comes through the other windows, through in the kitchen, and then in the kitchen lounge, in the breakfast area, in the mornings, it seeps through all morning at this side of the house, like I said, and then moves over <coughs> into the evening at the other side of the house, which is where you go to relax in the evening because you're done for the day. It's just a really good setup for lighting, is what I'm trying to say, <laughs> long-winded. Ta-da, this is where I'm brushing my teeth. Like, Ash wants to keep brushing his teeth upstairs with the dust. That is up to him, but me. I'm here at the moment in the utility doing my bits and bobs. I mean, I do have a shower upstairs in the bathroom. I am definitely here for the towels today. I want to see what they've got in store because obviously we need new towels for the new bathroom. 
and I've just propped you up on the shelf behind you so I can look at these, check the quality of them, the softness of them, and be hands-free. And yeah, here's what I'm looking at. So these are like, they look gray on camera, but they're like an off-white. And they're more like a dusky, what's the word I'm looking for? Like um, like a muddy neutral. Is that the word I'm looking for? A muddy neutral, like a rustic neutral. And that's what I want for the new bathroom. And I'm thinking of mixing the colors actually. They've got so much choice. I've just turned around and found these ones. These are quite nice, aren't they? They look really expensive. In fact, they feel a lot nicer. So these are new in and I do love marble. I don't like it everywhere in a bathroom, but maybe in accents like this is okay. I think that's a really nice expensive touch and it's got brass details as well. They're absolutely beautiful. I'm not gonna choose any until the bathroom's done. I need a whole bunch of these kind of things as well. This is from the edited range and I just love the wood details but they've got back scrubbers and brushes body brushes and little what are these called these are really nice actually i wouldn't want to use them though <laughs> so this is a mirror for 56 pounds and i just love the wooden details on this mirror I just don't like the cane detail though they've got this bath caddy thing as well wash baskets and they've got like a scalloped edge laundry baskets i'm just going to get it out and have a look a look inside it's like poly rattan as well so it's like plastic rather than wood and that's really cute isn't it i just love the shape of it and the scalloped edge that's beautiful okay truth be told i've already got a laundry basket it's just like this and so I don't need a new one. <laughs> but these storage baskets to match are gorgeous. Okay, let's have a little mooch around upstairs. So they've got furniture and kitchen stuff up here. That on the picture here is absolutely stunning. So I do intend to give you guys the plans for the office space. So this won't make sense, but I don't want... Um, a corner sofa like it shows here but I've just loved this little leather one the two seater there though pull out bed would be great in the office room and this will make sense a lot more when I show you the plan they just have some wonderful stuff don't they in Dunelm look at these side tables again they're very very small they're for a very small space they're not like full size and they're 179 each but that wood tone is stunning these are really beautiful as well with them being round i just love the alternate look and i am looking for two new tables for the guest room joelle's room soon so i'm absolutely in love with traditional rugs and i think in a plain room these can look really statement especially like this color where it's all neutrals because these rugs used to be like bright reds if you remember in fact the carpet in our house was quite like that um the blue is absolutely stunning as well imagine that blue rug in the middle of a cream white room beautiful and then they've also got it in the green and i just think they're so traditional they're so timeless so we're in the lighting section and i've just spotted these um lamps with the wooden base and the brass middle and then the shade itself has got like boucle and then underneath it i've spotted this fluted wooden lamp as well with the linen shade and these would look gorgeous in the office <gasps> wow look guys this one's actually got a map in it this is perfect for the office this is gorgeous you are so cute. Look what he's got me for my lunch. Banana, some sushi, and some dark chocolate as requested. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Ashley, do you have to burp when I'm filming? Yes, I do have to burp. Um, what was I going to say? I think I've got um, a zinc deficiency. And I read that dark chocolate is good for that. Yeah. So. 
Hi everyone. Back from Danelle. We're going to do things how we normally do them on this channel. So what I like to do is go around all the shops. If I pick up something, I pick up something and then I collect everything and then I do one big home interior haul. So hopefully there'll be one of them coming really soon because we've got parcels arriving left, right and centre. But are you the cutest boy that ever lived? Yes. I won't pick you up, Ralphie. Let's go and see what Dad is doing. You are everything. little munchkin what is this flower here that is flowering so this bloomed and I saw it out my bedroom window it's actually just dying off now and I said to hubby what is that beautiful red flowers are like fluted they're like trumpets if anyone knows what this is called leave it down below in the comments because I would love to know isn't it beautiful? Also, my peonies are sprouting. We pulled this out of the last house and it was in the ground and we did not think it would survive. And Ash potted it in this big pot here. And it comes back relentlessly. Every single year it gives off the most gorgeous peonies. And I just love peonies. And the fact that it's in a pot means I can take it to an, the next renovation, just like we have done with this one. <laughs> Guys, Ashley put a Disney uh, playlist on for me the other day. So YouTube algorithm is serving up all of the Disney playlists. And I found this relaxing Disney piano. It is a vibe. <laughs> I've had this playing nonstop in the house. We have some eggs and toast and sausages ready for breakfast so i'm gonna get this all cooked up ready for the boys to eat whilst they're working in the house today hi <laughs> i had every intention of sitting down this weekend and going through the bathroom plans with you guys but you know what i talk like and i really want to go into detail on that video so i'm going to if you don't mind save it till tuesday not got much longer to wait and i'll run through the plans with you guys there because it's just so hectic i like totally underestimated what it's like you know trying to film whilst there's work going on and there's people here it's really difficult <laughs> So I hope you all understand. And then on top of that, we need to rush around today, going to town, probably to Primark, and try and find a last minute wedding guest outfit. I love putting outfits together. And I can throw an outfit together and look absolutely fantastic at last minute, especially when I'm around the house or when I'm filming like reels for Instagram and things like that, doing like styling videos. I love doing that, I love playing dress up. However, when it comes to actually going somewhere, <laughs> and needing an outfit, I procrastinate it, I overthink it and mess about so long that I end up just ruining it in the end and getting it so wrong. <laughs> but um, here we go again, lastminute.com. We are looking for a outfit for a wedding guest. So we have ordered a dress off of Boohoo arriving next day which is today so that should be coming today i'll probably show you these outfits probably in the next video because i'm gonna have to stop filming today and get this video edited up for you guys for sunday because i promised you a big juicy renovation vlog and i can't not not deliver so yeah i've got a dress coming today and we need to go to primark today and go and have a little look at some secondary options because it's just such a busy weekend anyway let's get going because i'm just procrastinating again on time <laughs> I knew there was something else. I nearly forgot I had a coffee date with, with my best friend this morning. So I've got some flowers. Okay, so the lighting is shocking in these changing rooms. It makes my hair look really ginger as well. So option one. 
we've got this gorgeous sage green tortoiseshell buttons nice knitted tank top underneath I'll probably wear a tan belt and tan shoes okay option two Dinner for this evening, everybody, is salt and pepper chicken. I've bought a chicken crown because they're just dead easy to cook. And this will go, like, for tomorrow as well, if I want to do a bit of a salad. And then we haven't had stir fry for so long. The only thing I forgot were noodles to put with. I could do rice, but I think I've run out of rice as well. So I'm going to do chips. So, yeah, I got some of these stir fry packs from Aldi this morning they're so cheap they're like already prepped they're like a pound each there's a lot in here enough for one in fact there's enough for two in here once you get the chicken in there and and the noodles but obviously ash eats loads because he's just a giant and you can never fill him up so i like to get two packs anyway it's all the goodness isn't it so that's why i love these and they're so easy so they've got edam edamame beans am i saying that right edamame beans and broccoli stir fry. I mean, it's got carrots in there and cabbage and all sorts, you can see. Just love them. So I've got two of those. I've got some chips, they're in the freezer. No messing, Friday night dinner. So I think I'll just give you guys one last look at what we're looking like in this video. In the office. So it's had, how many cuts has it had, Ash? three coats of white paint so it got plastered last weekend hubby's been working in the evenings in here and it's had coving up there you probably can't see it because it's all just melting in with it all just being white at the moment a nice blank canvas like we like it and what else has changed yeah three coats it probably might need some touching up but it's dried at the moment and we're ready for sockets, which we now have on the walls, our little toggle switches. In fact, let me put the light on. And then we also have um, sockets down here that have gone on the wall as well. The brass sockets as usual. These have got USB charger ports in. I just love having the charger ports around the house like this because then you can just charge your phone, can't you, no matter which room you're in, especially in your office. So the light got ordered from Danelle. I'll leave this one linked down below. And this is the one we've gone for. I didn't want anything too overpowering in here because even though this room is blank and empty at the moment and it looks quite lost up there, I suppose, one's furniture is in this small room that will really, really stand out. And I just think it's lovely, an office like, you know, it's cozy, it's simple, and we can go a little bit fancier with um, floor lamps and table lamps and things like that in here, which I'll probably use the most, to be honest with you. So that's looking quite yellow on. This is what it'll look like color-wise in here. So yeah very subtle very lovely <laughs> and yeah that's what we're looking like in here that's one room down guys and our plasterer is on his way in fact he's gonna land any moment now so ashley set up his tools here in the dressing room and this is what room we are working on this weekend so can't wait <laughs> I actually can't wait. So I need to start looking for a light fitting in here, don't I? Which will all be coming in the next renovation vlog, like I said. There's going to be more renovation vlogs, like probably one after the other, I'm thinking. Because there's just so much going on at the moment in the renovation, which is probably music to you guys' ears. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to leave it here for now, you guys, because it's about to get hectic with the work. And then we've got visitors today. Ta-ta for now.